Good morning, laser noobs. Today, we're gonna to be doing something that almost everybody on YouTube says you cannot do with a diode laser, and that is acrylic etching. So today, we're gonna to use the Xtool D110 watt, like always, because it's the only laser I have. Uh, we're gonna be doing some tests, one with permanent marker, uh, another with dish soap and water, and our third with Endura-Mark charcoal glass. Hmm, I know what you're thinking. But stick around, let's see how this looks. Okay, so we've got all of our acrylics are prepped. All right, now the only other thing that you guys are gonna need is poster board. Just black, cheap, Walmart poster board. Uh, cut it into some little squares, uh, large enough to cover your entire area of your acrylic. And we'll lay that down there. And then, oh no, I have lost my acrylics. Here we go. Here's the one that we just colored with a Sharpie permanent marker. All right, nice and simple. So all we're gonna do is make sure that we take the other side off of the protective film. Uh, I hate these things. Any day now, any day now, noobs. All right, here we go. Uh, all right, so we pulled that off. This is our inked side here. That's going to go face down. So right on top of that cardboard backing. So basically what we're doing here from what I understand is we are giving the laser a place to actually stop or it's going to hit the, uh, the, the paper. So, cause otherwise the diode is going to go directly through the acrylic and there's nothing to stop it. So we all, I put the paper there, get the laser turned on. Now, this particular acrylic is 130 millimeters by 130 millimeters. I'm just gonna play it safe. We're just gonna do 120 by 120. So I'll set that up. And light burn, 120. 120. All right, we are at 40 millimeters per second and our power as it is at 40%. So no air assist is needed for this. I mean, there's nothing for it to cool down. So we've got that all set and we're gonna frame it. Oh, I might wanna actually choose the COM port. Thank you. Go home, my friend, go home. Uh, 
See, that's why I'm a noob. All right, oh, set that back down here. Let's frame it and see what it looks like. And one more time. Actually, it looks pretty good. All right. Let's not forget the all important super sexy laser glasses. Get those suckers put on. And start.
so we did three tests on the plexiglass, one with permanent marker, one with dish soap and water, and our third one using Enduramark charcoal glass. So this is the permanent marker. I ran that as, at a speed on my D110 watt of 40% power and 40 millimeters a second. And once it's in the laser or in the, in the base, it, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it, it looks pretty good. So that's permanent marker. This is our dish soap with water. I ran this at 30 and 30, so 30 millimeters a second at 30% power. And it too, in the base, came out pretty clean. That looks all right. And then our third is our Endura Mark. So the Endura Mark was 40% power at 40 millimeters a second. And the Endura Mark is clearly much cleaner. I don't, I don't know if you can see the difference on the camera or not, um, but I actually will do some pictures of each one out of the base so you can see the difference of how they look when they're not being lit up. But uh, Endura Mark is clearly, clearly the winner. So if you have a diode laser and you want to do uh, etched acrylics, um, it can be done.